In this demonstration, I'm using the Buchla 200E with Volta. 200E modules want to see 0 to plus 10 volt control voltages and 1.2 volts per octave scaling. This unique interfacing standard makes it problematic to integrate 200E modules with other modular systems. This is where Volta comes in. Here, I have a Buchla 261E oscillator connected to a Motu 896HD audio interface. Volta happily calibrates to the 261E, and now I can play the oscillator as if it were any other module in my system. Now, I'll play the 1V per octave Z3000 layered with the 1.2V per octave 261E. Now, both oscillators with Portamento. Maybe you'd like to pair the Buchla oscillator with a normal low-pass filter with resonance. The Buchla 261E is a pretty amazing oscillator. Without even getting into the dedicated modulation oscillator, there are plenty of timbral shaping possibilities way beyond the square and sawtooth waves found on traditional oscillators. Of course, this waveform animation can be voltage controlled. I'll use Volta to generate a sample and hold ramp and use this to modulate the timbre input. Next, I'll modulate symmetry with a slow sine wave. Finally, I'll patch another ramp into the high order input. Keep in mind we're using just the lone 261E and no other Buchla modules. The cool part is all the modulation we just applied is in sync with my project. This enables me to do cool things with beat synced host based effects. I'll try a few presets on Audio Damage's BS2 effect. Next, I'll add some drums from Motu BPM and simply play the Buchla oscillator live through BS2. Mm -hmm. 